question. This is, this is a drama show on Phonic FM, uh, but I'm going to look at some facts based on the Express and Echo. And the front page says there's going to be a decision about uh, Harlequins. And page eight, uh, you can see another wonderful graphic of... Um, a square, quite tall building, which is going to be on the Harlequin site. I think I can't remember what it's called, but there's there's a there's a large building where the bus station used to be, uh, or the maintenance space near the bus station, and that seems to be the design. In other words, it's it's a it's a box. It um, fills all the available space, ground floor space, and it's quite high. And I would I would think the Royal Albert Memorial Museum is is not going to be the the most obvious building in that in that area, and um, there's a, there's a few things about it. Um, the Civic Society, Exeter Civic Society, are objecting to it. Um, concerns are whether the rooms are big enough. So that's co living rooms. The, there seems to be recognition that student accommodation may not be a long-term prospect um, so co-living has come along and then the question is whether whether the the design is actually suitable for co-living or long-term occupation and I, I don't I don't understand how the planning works what, what, I, what I thought was Exeter Council can't really do a lot over the planning of student accommodation because um, it, they can be overruled very easily, um, given the nature of student accommodation. But if it's if it's supposed to be long-term uh, housing for young professionals, I would I would have thought there's a different sort of planning concern would would come into it. And then also the main the main thing which which strikes me is whether we need all this student accommodation in the long term, because. There's there's a slight awareness that education can move online or learning can move online, um, and the the educational institutions will adjust to that at some point. So we we have got now a, a, a public strategy for Exeter University, but there's very little in it about what they intend to do about learning platforms or. Um, whether they need so many buildings in 10 or 20 years time or whether there's hybrid or blended learning or any, anything like that there's a there's a proposal for um, a research institute I think into how online learning might work but I, ca I can't find any detail about that and that d does seem to me quite a leisurely approach that Presumably, once that has got its new building, presumably it'll have a new building, it will decide something at some point in the future and so on and so forth. I think, I think there's, there's quite a lot of um, places where things are moving a bit, bit more quickly than that. Um, so I, I think this asks a very large question, whether student accommodation is needed, why there's this move to co-living because maybe some people have already decided there's too much student accommodation. And also where, where, where debt comes into all of this, because um, the, the increase in student numbers is associated with quite a large amount of debt. I think, I think in, the, in the States, student indebtedness is now greater than credit card indebtedness. And is, is this something, I don't, I don't know what the UK figures are, but I think it's worth looking at because um, if if the if the students can get can just raise money for um, various expenses, that might explain why student accommodation is regarded as a, a viable uh, investment or building scheme in a way that retail is not. And now hotels are not because they've, they've cancelled the hotel part of this. Presumably, people aren't expected to move about so much um, or need to stay on various trips. They can communicate over the internet, and that's that's been quite well reported. You can find research and reports about that. 
Um, but I haven't found anything written about um, whether the, the campus developments of recent years, some spectacular buildings have gone up, whether they're actually going to be needed in 10 or 20 years' time, or whether the amount of accommodation is going to be needed. Um, I, I, I don't, I mean, maybe it is. I, I, I would just ask the question, where is the reporting about that and what, what is any of this based on? Because the, the, these are massive investments that are supposed to be happening um, in Harlequins, so I'll just go back to this. The other, the other thing, the other two things the Extra Civic Society have, have, have mentioned, as reported in the Echo, provision for pedestrians and cyclists. So I, I don't know the details of that, how, how that's supposed to work in, with this building. And also for the laybys to be scrapped. And all I can see at the moment is um, a, a sort of photograph, artist impression style. There's, there's a layby just outside this building. Well, how is that supposed to work with the new scheme um, that's in Queen Street on that corner at the moment, which seems to be designed to, di well, discourage motor cars? Um, that's going to be part of a review t to be finalised at some point. Uh, it seems to me a bit daft to have, have that scheme going on and then also arrange laybys. So I don't know how many cars they'd expect to be parking up um, outside this co-living or you know how that how that would be supposed to work um, there's also in the in the photograph lots of um, retail spaces we're looking at the retail spaces where the Holland Inn used to be or where the um, arcade on 4th street that was demolished to, to make way for student accommodation I don't think there's been any take up in that so and I don't think the one near the bus stop there's a co-op store and there's a cafe but there's quite a lot of empty space there so I, I, but that is sorry that is well known anyway the problems of retail are well known for some reason student accommodation is 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 a is a terrific investment um so i'm raving on a bit a bit long but uh, i do i do think there should at least be some um some research about this then also going back last week Express and Echo page 2 November 4th um, objections start to go in over plan for student flats and co-living block this is the one where the police station and the courts used to be and an earlier Express and Echo photograph was fairly up close to it and showed that again it, it fills all the available space it's what one, two, three, four, five. It's about six stories high. It's in the same style as the one near the bus station. It's a bit imposing. Um, but this this photograph or it, recreation, um, page two of the Express Echo last week, is taken from way inside the St Luke's campus. So you get the the, the lawn and low wall. Um, from what is St Luke's at the moment <laughs> and if you didn't know the, the space you might think that's going to be part of a sort of approach to this building which is the style of Waitrose and how the, the courts and police station used to be previously all the buildings in that area have had quite a lot of um, space around them um, not as much space as the campus where the academic buildings are but um this is completely out of that style. That's that's all I can say. And I, I'm I'm surprised we haven't heard anything from St Luke's. I, I would have thought, given given the the, the nature of the architecture of the, of the St Luke's campus, that would be people based there who would object. But there's lots of locals there. Um, Anita Merritt has done a lot of interviews. People ne nearby, um, various opinions. I can't see Exeter Civic Society quoted in this one, but clearly there's 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 local concern about this sort of thing, and um, I I think the the university's strategy to 2030 or whatever it is, um, a should have something about online learning or more about online learning, um, but certainly should just. Have, have have a recognition of what the impact is on the local um, 
situation and what they what they think about it. Anyway, um, I will come back to drama. My my attempt to put this sort of thing into a a fictional format uh, later on. Uh, but in the meantime, 